Well, we've been talking about tonight specifically all week with this wintry mix ahead of us in the forecast. I will say that the precipitation as of 514 this afternoon has been lackluster to say the least in the coastal bend but we are starting to see that pick up right now. It is still in the 40s, low 40s in Corpus Christi. That's more than half of what we topped out at yesterday, cooler. So yesterday, 85, today, 41 degrees at 515, 37 up in Beeville, 30s in Sinton also. These are gonna continue to fall through the 30s during the overnight hours. Here's that temperature difference. You see anywhere from 32 to 45 degrees colder at this point today than it was 24 hours ago. And those winds are pumping in that cold air, 15 to 20 mile per hour winds, putting the wind chill values at freezing in Corpus Christi. We did say that there's gonna be that shower activity today. You can see that now starting to pick up a little bit later than expected, but it is starting to fill in on the radar in addition to the cloudy skies, you see parts of Corpus Christi and other areas of the coastal bend picking up on that precipitation. So it is going to be uh, getting a little bit damp and then we'll watch for that transition overnight tonight, first to sleet, then to freezing rain. We'll put our future cast into motion here, heading into the midnight to one o'clock hour. You look out to the western parts of the viewing area, the brush country, Duval County, Hebronville, uh, in northern Jim Hogg County could be starting to pick on some sleet or even freezing rain uh, into that overnight time frame. That pink hue is then going to slide a little bit farther east. And I'll say this about this particular run of this this forecast model that it's dropped off the chances for that wintry mix to move into the coastal areas heading into tomorrow morning. You can see here uh, into northern Jim Wells County and Duval counties a little bit of uh, either sleet or freezing rain, but it does not look as impressive as it did yesterday before clearing out seven, eight, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Again, this is just one model. There are other models that are a lot more aggressive, uh, but Time will tell. We'll have to pay attention to the radar trends tonight to see exactly how this is all going to unfold. Freezing rain, though, certainly a possibility. By tomorrow afternoon, we clear out. Temperatures bounce into the middle and upper 40s. Here's the freezing rain outlook. I dropped this a little bit from where it was yesterday. I don't think anyone gets more than a tenth of an inch of freezing rain. Most locations get a trace to five one hundredths of an inch. That doesn't sound like a lot. But if we do see any accumulation at all, especially on the bridges, that's when it can become problematic. And I think that's where the focus needs to be. I don't think with that forecast, we're gonna be looking at widespread surface road issues. It's gonna be places like uh, the flyover in Cal Allen, the Harbor Bridge, or maybe even the Crosstown SPID exchange that we've gotta be looking out for. So if you have to travel in the morning, be aware that this is out there and the possibility for bridges and overpasses to ice up is in place. If we exceed expect expectations on the forecast, then yes, we'd have a little bit more of an issue. But at this point, to me, it looks like a bridges and overpass thing with respect to how bad the roads are gonna be. We'll get a quick improvement Friday in the late morning and the afternoon. The other thing we've got is the cold temperatures. And with this being a freezing rain forecast, it'll actually keep the temperatures in the upper 20s to low 30s freezing rain actually helps warm the atmosphere as the rain freezes it releases heat and that's going to keep temperatures close to the freeze mark overnight if that makes sense wind chill values going to be between 20 and 25 so a lot of questions about the pipes coming in and for the pipes i'd say they're going to be okay we really need those temperatures to be 28 or lower for four hours or more or drop the temperatures down to 20. Neither of those are gonna be happening. Pets and plants both need to be inside. Tonight, Corpus Christi 31 with the wind chill of 22, freezing rain and sleep possible during the overnight hours. Watch out on that morning commute. Watch first edition to get the update on the road conditions. Friday afternoon, 47, some afternoon sunshine after what will have been a somewhat messy overnight time frame. And after this, 
Doesn't look all that bad. Yeah, it's going to be way cooler than average, but mid 30s Saturday morning, mid 50s both Saturday and Sunday afternoons. Another rain chance Monday, possibly a sunny delight Tuesday. Another cold front into next Wednesday, followed by another chance for rain. But the important note here, Mike and Leslie, all the rain chances after tonight, they're going to come in that liquid variety, not the frozen stuff. So we'll have to get through tonight. We'll have another update at six. All right, Alan.